Hello, my name is Raquel Diaz. In this video, I'll show how to obtain additional information from the TPP pipeline results. This is the second part of the TPP tutorial video. So if you didn't watch the first part of this tutorial, please follow the link in the description of this video. Okay, so if you followed all the steps of the previous tutorial, you should be able to view this result table from the TPP. What we're going to do in this tutorial is to take these protein IDs and map them to a database of metabolic pathways. With this information, we will see in what metabolic processes the identified proteins are involved. Okay, so here in the jobs window of TPP, I'll click here to view the result from the protein profit that we have generated before. And here I'll click in the beta link to visualize the results. In the sort filter tab, we can select a probability range to refine our results. So I'm selecting a minimal probability of 95%. So if you click in sort, the results should be refined to a minimum probability of 95% now. Now, for exporting these results, we're going to click in the File and Info tab and click in Export. Now the results should be exported in Excel format. So we can use the File Browser utility to download this exported Excel file. So I'm going to click in Utilities, Browse Files. Here you have to select your username. And I'm going to select the interact.prod.xls file. So I'm going to download this file and open it in Excel. In the Microsoft Excel, we can select the protein IDs that are in the protein column and copy them. And now we can go to the Uniprod database to convert these IDs to a metabolic pathway identification ID. If you write Uniprod in the Google search, the first result should be the Uniprod database. Now we're going to click in the ID mapping tab and we're going to paste here those IDs that we have just copied. As input format, I'm going to select the Uniprod KB. And as output format, I'm going to select the KO format that consists of metabolic pathway IDs. Then we click here to map the IDs. So this should be the mapped IDs. If we click on download and target list, we're going to have all the converted IDs. Now we can copy these IDs and we can go to the metabolic pathway database. So in Google, I'm going to write KEGG, K-E-G-G. -G. This is one of the most comprehensive metabolic pathways database. Here you can look for information about different types of enzymes, metabolic reactions, and their interaction networks. So I'm going to click in CAG Mapping. And here in CAG Mapper Tools, and in search pathway. Here in this box, we should paste all those pathway IDs that we have just mapped from the proteins in Uniprot. So CAG will show a list of metabolic pathways that have enzymes from our proteomic data. So if you click on show all objects, it will show all the gene or enzyme names involved in each metabolic pathway. If we click in one of these enzymes, like the isocitrate dehydrogenase from the carbon metabolism, we'll see in what metabolic pathway this enzyme that was identified in our proteomic data is participating on. So this is the list of pathways where this enzyme performs reactions. If we click in one of these pathways, we'll see the metabolic pathway map with our enzyme marked in red. So this enzyme and this enzyme here 
should be our isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme. So we can see that this enzyme catalyzes two reversible reactions for the formation of isocitrate or oxoglutarate, for example. This number here is the enzyme commission number or EC number. It's an identification number for the enzyme function. Each different enzyme function has a different EC number. So by following these steps, we can discover what are the metabolic pathways present in our proteomic data. And if you find any interesting enzyme, we can see what is the specific metabolic reaction that this enzyme is catalyzing. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave your comments and check a detailed PDF tutorial that is in the description of this video. See ya!